Hello, friends. Today we are discussing the system architecture and memory management part three, in which the addressless translation mechanism of the at zero three six we will see in detail. The protection mode of the addressing mechanism at zero three six transform the logical addresses in a physical addresses by using the two steps. First step is the segment translation, and the next step is the phase translation. These are the two steps are used for converting a physical addresses into the logical addresses into the physical addresses. The segment translation, the logical addresses converted into the linear address. That means in a segment translation, the logical addresses converted into the linear address. Whereas in a phase translation, in a linear address. A linear address is converted to the physical address. These translations are performed in a way that is not visible to applications programmers. The following figure illustrates the two translations: the logical addresses and a physical addresses translation. Okay, a logical address in which the selector is there of the zero to fifteen bits and a zero to thirty-two bit offset is there. A segment translation is done whether the paging is disabled or enabled. If the paging is disabled, it goes for the physical translation. If a paging is enabled, it goes for the linear translation, linear address translation, which having the offset or page and a directory. After that. After the linear addresses, which is get con converted into the page translation, and from page translation, which get converted into the physical addresses. So in this way, the translation of the physical uh, linear addresses to the physical addresses is done. The segmentation process in a logical address, which is given to the segmentation unit, which gets converted into the this converts the logical address into the linear address in short we can say a segmentation is a process in which which accepts a logical address as an input and which converts that logical address as a input to the output as a linear addresses a segment descriptor is a described by the special structure called a segment descriptors descriptors includes its base addresses its length its types its privilege level and some of the status information if we don't describe an area of the address space in a descriptor that address range is not addressable at all and processor will refuse to access it descriptors are created by the compilers linkers loaders or uh, operating systems segment is a uh, described by the special structures called a segment descriptor a segment descriptors are nothing but a special structures or descriptors which includes the base address its length a type of the addresses its privilege level and some of the status information if we don't describe the area of such an address space in a descriptor the address range is not addressable at all and processor will refuse to access it descriptors are created by the compiler linkers and a uh, loaders or the operating systems a segment descriptor which is shown is shown in the figure a segment base and a segment limit which is of the 15 bit also a segment base which is of the 15 bit a default instruction attributes are a 32 bit uh, if it is a one, if it is a zero, default instruction attributes are a sixteen bit available field for users or a OS granularity of the bit means that is one. If a segment length is a page granularity, and if a zero segment length is a byte granularity, bit must be zero for compatibility with the future processor and maximum size segment. That is a segment with a g is equal to n segment limit is equal to nine ff is the lowest 12 bit of the segment base should be zero a segment descriptor that is what is the base base defines the location of the segment with the 4gb linear address space a base defines 
the location of the segment which within a 4 jlb look linear address space combining three parts of the base addresses to form the thunder single 32 bit values limit defines the size of the segment it is a 20 bit field a g that is a granularity bit specifies the unit which with which the limit field is interpreted g is equal to zero or a unit of the one by g is equal to one it is a unit of the four kb a type field which is of the t bit field defines the type of the segment you are defining dpl descriptor privilege level used by the protection mechanism two bit field defines the level of the privilege associated with the memory space that descriptor defines the default d is equal to zero upfront is a segment will be considered 16 bit d is equal to one consider the 32 bit base defines the location of the segment within a 4gb linear address space combining three parts of the base addresses to form the single 32 bit value the limit field defines the size of the segment it is of the 20 bit field g which is the granularity bit specifies the unit with which the limit field is interpreted g is equal to zero unit of the one byte g is equal to one unit of the four byte k below a type three which is of the three bit field defines type of the segment you are defining dp uh, descriptor privilege level used by the protection mechanism two bit field defines the level of the privilege associated within the memory space that descriptor defines d default d is equal to zero operands in a segment will be considered 16 bit d is equal to considered a 32 bits a segment translation selector field is there and a offset field is a segment descriptor base address linear address dir and a page address a descriptor table gdt this global descriptor table ldt local descriptor table idt interrupt descriptor table a descriptor table is array of the eight bytes entries that contains descriptors descriptor table is variable in the link and may contain up to 8192 descriptors a processor located locates gdt ldt by the gdtr and a ldtr registers respectively a descriptor tables which may contain some of the descriptors as shown in the below GDT, LDT, and uh, IDT. GDT stands for the global descriptor table, LDT stands for the local descriptor table, IDT stands for the inter descriptor table. Descriptor tables is an array of the eight byte entries that contains the descriptor. Descriptor table is a variable in the link and may be of the contain of the 8192 descriptor that is two raised to power 13. A processor located GD, GDT, LDT by the LDTR and a LDTR registers. How the local descriptor table, global descriptor table locates the table which is through the selector as shown in a, a base address in a LDTR base address in a GDTR. A selector address, how the local address select the offsets and a directory as shown in a figure. GDT can be used by all the programs to perform segments of the memory. LDT can be defined on a pre-task basis in a multitasking system, but its use is purely optional. LDT is used to expand the number of high-level descriptors and hence addressable range of the selected RAS. GDT can be used by all the programs to reference segments of the memory ldt can be defined on a pre-task basis in a multitasking system but its use is purely optional ldt is used to expand the number of available descriptors and hence addressable range of the selected task idt it holds the segment descriptor that defines the interrupts or a exceptions
segment selectors or index selects selectors one of the 8192 descriptor in a descriptor table the processor simply 